It's ancient. It's been around for well over 2,000 years. For the first, it, aspects of it came from China, of course, because it had, works with the meridians, the sin lines. India has some aspects from India. Um, but it's been in Thailand for nearly 2,000 years. It came from Burma. By the monks, the monks did it. So the, for the first 1,800 years, the last 1,800 years, it was done in the temples, in the monasteries, monk on monk, because they would meditate. They were the, a lot of them were the, were the doctors of the day. Also, they would be meditating for ye months and months on end, and they would atrophy. Their muscles would atrophy in the, in the position of the lotus or whatever they were doing. Yeah? So they would use this technique to open the muscles, to, to get rid of the atrophication, get circulation going again, as well as other medical uh, aspects. They would, they would be, uh, be you know, topical ointments, and they would be you know, herbs that they would be taking along with it, but, but massage is a big part of, of how they would get the, the body back in order after, after being stagnant for so long. So it, um, the Thais believe that gravity has its negative force in the body. So uh, Thai massage, a traditional Thai massage, is always done on the floor, clothed, because you need that membrane, because you're using a lot of skin on skin, and, and you use your feet and elbows, and if you were to do skin on skin, you'd stretch the skin, which is not comfortable, and uh, it can damage as well. So traditional Thai massage is usually dry, no oils or ointments. If there are, you know, if there are some muscle pains, you can use like a, a, an ointment. But generally, it's it's um, dry on the floor, starting from the feet, pushing the energy back into the body. You know, always starting the feet, and it. Thai massage. You look at the body as as one unit, and so and with the, with the the philosophy that everything's connected. So if wherever there's a a problem with the body. Uh, an injury or just some sort of a, an ailment, it will affect virtually every part of the body. So you don't just work in the local area; you work towards the local area, you know, from 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 your feet, from the feet. So it it really encompasses all aspects of a body work. Yeah, you know? it works with muscle, tendon, ligament, joint, fascia, lymph. It encompasses all of these things. Yeah. So it's uh, it's kind of a, it's 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 a package deal. <laughs>
first thing is lots of water. Yeah, because the body has just been now everything's ticking along. Yeah, and you'll feel very dehydrated afterwards. So water is a key, a key, key, key aspect, key point. Um, steam or sauna, excellent for it as well. In a real, true traditional Thai massage, it's like the Ayurvedic and India Sri Lanka as well. Steam is a very good thing because it, again it loosens the muscles and keeps the circulation going. The pool is very good. Lovely for that. Um, but it can go either way. You can be either whacked by it, yeah, and that's where you know, just relaxation is good, or you can be quite stimulated by it. So a good swim is very good for that.